I think I've made a great shot. Here, let me get some light. Just picked up some more tags. I've got three doe tags now to go fill. I'm super excited and I kind of know I'm getting a chest freezer for Christmas. So I might as well start out with it full. So I'm headed out right now. I'm gonna hop up in this blind. I'm actually going out to Mark's house. He's got a real doe situation out there. <clears throat> He'd like to have a few taken out and I wouldn't mind taking them home. So I'm super excited. This is gonna be a fun hunt, low stress, not worried about a big buck coming out. Just gonna go have some fun, practice my shooting hopefully and get some good footage. I love harvesting deer. Does make me almost just as excited. All right, I'm headed out. I've got both bows with me, the longbow and the compound. This is Mark's home property here, and I'm about to get up in one of his blinds. It's a beautiful layout, and I'm sure we'll see some deer tonight. He's got a lot of extra does out here. Five does just walked out of the field straight east of me here. Hopefully they'll work their way this way or we'll have more come out. I got a good feeling this could be an eventful evening. I'm sitting over uh, some turnips and stuff that we planted earlier this year with Mark. This is behind his house and I can only dream of ever owning a piece of property like this. It's beautiful. A couple of those does look pretty good size. I forgot my rangefinder again. Worked out okay last time. But I went ahead and I had some busted up arrows in the truck, so I set them out there, paced them off at a couple different yardages. So I'm super excited. This could be a great evening. Got about 45 minutes left and I haven't had anything in the field for about an hour. I would expect any minute to have these deer start trickling out. That's what I hope anyway.
field full of deer, nothing close. I probably could have taken that shot at that doe. I just wasn't comfortable doing it. She had that button buck right under her. And if he would have whipped his head up and when I shot, there's no telling where my arrow would have went. So I tried waiting him out and he walked off. And then by that time, that bigger buck came over by her and she got kind of even squirrelier and took off. So close, so close. <laughs> Here, let me get some light. I'm pretty sure I made a great shot. That was gonna be my last opportunity. She was about 37 yards, came in, turned like she was gonna leave, the one doe left, and she was quartering away pretty hard, but I aimed right at that opposite shoulder. I think that's exactly what I hit, because I didn't get quite a clean pass through, but my arrow ended up through her and over here in this corner. I'm super excited. Doe down, baby, yeah. How far are we? Probably about 50 yards. Oh, hey, she's right here. Awesome. Check it out. First doe for Hedge Post Media. This has really been a season of a lifetime. I can't complain one bit. Holy cow. Not a super big doe, but it's one less doe on the property and I knew she wasn't a button buck, so I was taking her. I thought the night was over and she stepped out and barely presented a shot, but presented a shot and I threaded the needle. Good deal. Awesome. It's December 18th. We're out here on our big farm on the north side of it. We're after that eight pointer Tim had during shotgun season. He's been on camera almost every day after that. So we're going to see if we can't get him out in these greens. It's a little warmer today. So hopefully we'll be able to make it happen. It's also getting pretty late. Okay, season. I can't, babe. I can't. It's getting pretty late in the season. I haven't shot a deer yet, so if a doe walks out, I'm going to be more than happy to shoot her. Is that okay? It's five seconds. Ouch. Okay, we're hunting. You should be quiet. Well, that's a wrap for tonight. We knew it would be a little risky. We just set this blind up a couple days ago. We're gonna give them a while to get used to it and then get back in here. All right, guys, I'm sitting here in the ground blind again tonight. Check the camera, we had our eight pointer on it again. They've gotten used to the blind now, so we're gonna see what happens.
just shot a doe at 25 yards. She came in pretty close. It wasn't a very good shot. There's still does out here. But I'm getting ready to go check my air and see what we get. All right, so I have a bit of an apology to make. We ended up backing out on Lauren's deer. We came back the next morning. We found her. She only went about 80 yards, piled up. Coyotes hadn't even got to her. Very fortunate there. But we were in such a rush, we just didn't end up filming it. So I wanted to take this opportunity though and tell you guys what to kind of expect from us in the future. This is season one. I don't feel like you guys really have gotten to know us all that well yet. We might even do videos in the future of just introducing each one of us on the team. But we're also big turkey hunters, we're big 3D shooters, and be expecting to see some of that stuff here in the future as the seasons go on. We're already putting in for turkey tags. It should be a great one. We'll probably have nine or ten turkey tags to fill this year. So that should be great. And then I've also been considering vlogging a few of uh, our indoor and 3D archery tournaments. So if any of that stuff might interest you guys, reach out to us. Let us know. We love hearing from you. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm also about to head out to the ATA show. So if you've got any questions regarding that, feel free to hit us up as well. I'll be out there. might shoot a couple videos and stuff, maybe on some cool products I find. I hope everybody's year is off to a wonderful start. Shoot straight, and I'll catch you in the next one.